Today I'm going to be installing the FOBO Bike 2 TPMS for motorcycles. And uh, this came yesterday, it's, uh, it's about a hundred bucks on Amazon. And um, you see it offers 24-7 monitoring, slow and fast leak detection, uh, two level theft deterrent, easy installation, and FOBO share. You can share the information with other people. So these are all the features of the back here and specifications. One of the interesting things that I, I found about this is that 24-7 uh, um, uh, information on your tire pressures, which means I could be sitting inside and I can uh, be informed by opening the app as to uh, what the tire pressures are on my on my bike, as opposed to the RS, where um, you know you've got to ride the bike for a couple of miles uh, before you find out what the pressures are. Um, that must drain something uh, battery on the on the, uh, the sensors uh, more rapidly, I would think. But uh, who knows? They're easy enough to change. As many other reviewers have said, the packaging of this thing is worth mentioning. And uh, indeed, it's, it's well packaged and well presented. And that suggests that they're proud of their product uh, at FOBO. So I just wanted to show you that. Uh, as soon as you slide this bottom part out of that sleeve there, um, you get the instructions. You get the, uh, the two uh, units here. I don't know what this, oh, I guess these are pull tabs for the, uh, for the battery and you get some uh, accessories inside this box here okay that's a key ring from what I've seen in other videos that key ring is for attaching the wrench so that you keep the wrench with the bike because every time you want to fill up uh, your tire pressure you top up your tire pressures you've got to take these TPMS off and the way to do that is to use the wrenches because it's got these secure lock nuts here that you install uh, on the on the uh, valve stems and these are the wrenches here you get a couple of them I believe we'll open that up in a second these here are some additional uh, metal valve uh, valve stems I'm not going to be installing that today because really you should take the uh, the tire off to do that and I'm not doing that today and these here are some additional or spare batteries. So they send you four batteries. Uh, there are batteries in here already, and then there's some additional spare batteries here. Uh, what's the what's the type of the battery here? CR1632. So that's what they are. So well packaged, very nice. Uh, I'm going to take this out carefully because uh, if it doesn't work right, I'm going to return it. <laughs> That's the beauty about uh, buying off of Amazon. If you're not satisfied with the product, um, you've got the ability to return it. So you get four of these lock nuts. You only have two sensors, so two are spares. But if you look at it closely, you'll see that there's a, a raised lip on, on, the, uh, on one side of the lock nut and uh, no lip on the other side. This is how it's supposed to be oriented on your valve stem according to the instructions. This is how the nut fits underneath the sensor when it's installed. That's why it's got that recess because the sensor has got that proud bit here that's sticking up and that fits inside the recess of this. The instructions want you to actually start with uh, downloading and installing the, uh, the app, which I've already done last night. So I'll go ahead and do that. Install that, then it says to install uh, the sensors on the bike. And if um, one of the uh, reviewers uh, is correct I think they want you to start with the rear one first right and it says here to install it, it gives you instructions how to install the lock nut and all of that kind of stuff this thing has two levels of security obviously it's got this lock nut thing here that requires you to use this wrench here to uh, to, to install properly and securely on your valve stem uh, but not only that uh, once the, the, the sensors appear to your smartphone um, they have to be released uh, from your smartphone uh, app before they can be used on a different bike. So even if somebody were to take it off and steal it, uh, it would be inoperable. Of course, you will have lost your, your little sensors 
and you'd have to replace those sensors yourself um, but because there's no warranty on that on theft um, but at the same time the thief uh, hopefully they will realize that uh, if they take this thing off then they won't have uh, the ability to use it uh, because it won't have been released from your app so uh, you know hopefully that in itself is a deterrent but anybody that wants to go steal something from your bike like that they're gonna steal it anyway so that's the instructions I'm gonna go ahead and install it another thing that I wanted to note is that these things are really really small now they do have I can feel a little bit of weight on it but from what I've heard um, from other reviewers it doesn't really change the balance of the bike that you can feel it of course if you were to put the the wheels on a balancer you will tell uh, you'll be able to, to feel it so um, again I'm not taking the wheels off of the bike this week uh, you know this time and um, next time I take the wheels off uh, I'll do proper balancing with that in place uh, but for now I'm going to just stick it on the bike and see what happens this is how the nut, nut is supposed to be installed in your valve stem and now after you have it installed in the valve stem you put on the sensor on top of that and then uh, turn using the wrench turn the, uh, the nut anti-clockwise up against the bottom of the of the sensor to get it uh, secure uh, I've installed both and my pressure is a little bit low so I'm going to go uh, pump them up a little bit and then put them back on show you the finished product to air the tire up you're going to probably have to take the lock nut off because uh, with it in place here um, this doesn't go down far enough and it keeps letting the air out so yeah that's a little bit of a pain in the butt but I'll work the price for uh, added security let's see what the pressure is here now pressure is 44 right now so I'm gonna let some of that out and get it down to 42 so 42 right now so I'm gonna put the lock nut back on and then I'll install the sensor so you screw it all the way down then you put the sensor on right making sure that this cap is tightened to the base uh, they give you instruction and they make sure that you understand that this has to be securely tightened to the base of the sensor or else you wouldn't get the waterproofing effect so that's tightened on nice and then you have to take the wrench and uh, turn this this way to push this nut up against the underside of this let's see what the application says uh, right now for the pressure This is the front tire now. We're going to check the pressure on this. I hate these valves that are straight up. But 33.5. Let's pump this up a bit, up to 36, and see what gets off of the reader, off of the sensor. That 35.5 right now. We're going to put the lock nut back on. And then put the sensor on and see what the pressure is. So the two pressures are perfect and they agree with my tire pressure gauge and now I'm going to just use this wrench to, uh, to tighten that lock nut underneath the, on the underside of the, uh, of the sensor. I must say the front wheel is a pain in the butt because these discs uh, get into the way. So <laughs> um, one of the things I'm going to be doing whenever I change these tires and it looks like it's got a lot of meat on them uh, and they're working so far so they haven't pissed me off yet. Um, you can still see the the blue the blue and the yellow marks um, <laughs> from this tire this tire is this bike when I bought it that's had 2600 miles on it obviously the guy didn't ride it very much uh, you can still see the freshness of the tires so they're gonna be on there for a while before I get a chance to take them off and then put some right angled uh, valve stems on this and uh, steel valve stems and then um, remount the thing and balance the wheels so it's gonna be like this for a while maybe I mentioned before that I've got a lot of storage underneath this seat here and one of the perfect places for this wrench is inside this little toolkit that lives in this little spot so it's got a little Leatherman uh, tool in there and uh, something else but it's got lots of room so I'm gonna just put this wrench inside here 
and close it up and then stick it back underneath that spot here there you go stored no need to have it dangling off my keychain I don't like too much stuff on the keys uh, this is my keychain here just one key that's it so does it change the aesthetics of the bike and make it look too ugly uh, probably not there's the rear wheel there where's the lump on the end of the valve stem uh, it doesn't look too bad I got a black one they come in uh, silver as well I didn't want that because that was going to stand out too much and there's the front you got to kind of bend down so the largeness of the discs is good in the sense that uh, it'll kind of to the casual glance it'll hide the TPMS sensor from from the casual eye but uh, that's that's how it looks on right now doesn't look too bad okay this is a 99 I can't tell any difference um, from or vibration or anything like that having put the uh, tire pressure monitoring system on the bike so far it's uh, it's been no change to the bike I mean it's uh, it still feels the same so that's it for now talk to you later see you in the next video keep the shiny side up and stay safe